Uh, good evening, and we good have evening. a special live tonight. <laughs> We're talking to the cast of Being Sophia. It's a Icarus, yes, Icarus Theater Collaborative's first ever film desktop series. Um, we actually love theater and um, you know all these creative arts, and this is actually one of the best shows I've seen. Um, during this pandemic and uh, we're talking to the entire cast uh, <laughs> it's so amazing and good evening guys hi good evening, good evening. Good to be here good evening. so <laughs> they'll uh, introduce themselves uh, my name is Anton Diaz founder of our awesome planet and we're here with the cast of being Sophia all right All right. So most people don't know what being Sophia is. Uh, maybe can you introduce yourself as your role and maybe describe what is being Sophia, the, at least the concept behind it. Because I have my own take. I think a lot of people have their own take on uh, being Sophia. Maybe we'll start with somebody. Sino ba? Sidil. And then uh, probably Mary, I guess Sophia. Can start. And then we'll take okay. that discussion right. from there. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Justin. I play Dale, Sophia's uh, older brother. Uh, being Sophia is about navigating life as a young adult uh, college student, nav navigating the life of a college student during the pandemic as you go through relationships, uh, personal trials, and really dealing with other people. So uh, the rest of the cast can talk about their roles. But I, as I said, I'm Dale. I'm the older brother of our protagonist, Sophia. Uh, CJ, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, um, so hi, I'm CJ. Uh, I play Liam, a, uh, a friend from uh, high school. Uh, of Sophia, as well as a uh, blockmate or, well, uh, classmate of Riley. Uh, I think being, uh, for me, being Sophia is about um, understanding relationships uh, and how they change and how they grow, uh, especially so during a, in, in a pandemic um, and how those relationships change uh, given the fact that we're all apart from each other and how these relationships can grow and how they can change and how they can also hurt sometimes uh but yeah that's that is me i i play i play friend very flirty friend but <laughs> friend nonetheless um uh, i'll pass to danny okay oh sorry uh, hi i'm <laughs> i'm so giggly um hi i'm danny i play riley who is the crush of sophia <laughs> and is a friend of is a friend of liam uh like what cj said earlier and um being sophia isn't just about relationships like romantic relationships it's also about relationships with your friends or with your brother and with family so that's the story that we're doing and i'm so nervous um, <laughs> <laughs> um i think justin and cj already mentioned most of um what being sophia is about but um we also tackle um hobbies of the different characters so yeah very <laughs> Oh, last but not least. Okay, Being Sophia is a very small mini series that talks about the journey of Sophia as a 20 year old literature student where she is on the road to self discovery, self acceptance. And then along the road, these two people from the past come in their way, and now Sophia has to juggle in between these two individuals. And yeah, this story is about the human side and beauty of love regardless of what form it is and it's 
a beautiful sentiment about um you know despite the pandemic and how it is right now is the importance of connection yeah and and uh my question ako, um i've uh, always wondered uh is this a gen z life coming of age story in the pandemic and connecting with you know the younger generation or the parents what, what's the aim of the show Justin? Justin, we can Hi, hear you. sorry, I'm muted. Okay, I'm not muted. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so when we were designing, planning the show, uh, we were talking about it. There was definitely that element of being able to relate to uh, Gen Z, specifically because it tackles like uh, issues of college students, relationships, identity. Um, obviously, I'm not Gen Z. I am... Uh, <laughs> Wanna be I'm Gen Z, I guess. older, <laughs> but that's uh, but that's basically the story that we wanted to tell. Yes, this is the story that we wanted to tell. We wanted to talk about um, real struggles of people. Um, of course, coming from a certain background, coming from a certain context, uh, and we also wanted to portray relationships uh, in a healthy way. I mean. Of course, people are going to fail in certain aspects, but we wanted to show, because there are a lot of already of like shows that show not so nice relationships. We wanted to show something different. We wanted to uh, what would to show what a good relationship could be like when people are just generous and understanding of each other. So we wanted to do that as well. And in spite of how complex relationship is. Um, the navigation of it, like how in, in spite of everything, what makes a person, you know, not to spoil, but a blanket, a book, or a coffee? <laughs> you know, guys, uh, it feels like it's the actual location, no? Yung mga background nyo, tama ba yan? Is yeah. That, uh, is that yeah, your yeah. 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 Home, This is where yeah. we shoot. <laughs> Well, CJ shoots in different places of his house. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> wherever there is silence in this house. Silence. Yes, that's where yes. <laughs> okay, now I have it's a just... question. Do you shoot it all at the same time, the scenes, or you shoot mm. it individually, then it's edited in? Well, uh, maybe can you describe how did you guys shoot this? Uh, I guess all remotely, no? Yeah. Yes. So when we, I know, uh, we wanted to like that the aesthetic of the desktop film. If you're familiar with the desktop film, parang searching or um, unfriended. So we wanted that also as a uh, lower production value, uh, not production value, budget, but also production value. Uh, and uh, safety yung, of our own safety, well-being. Oh, definitely. Um, so we were going for something very uh, low prod, mumble core almost, yung aesthetic niya. Um, <laughs> And yeah, we 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 shoot. So, an uh, interesting thing is that we didn't come in knowing exactly what to do. We had a general idea of how we wanted to do it, but over several episodes, we refined our rehearsals, our uh, practice. Um, so, what we de- generally do is we write our script together, and then uh, we pick a scene for a day. We rehearse that scene, and at, towards the end of the the rehearsal, we'd record it. Um, so we record it on our computer while we're in the call, so so that we can react to each other. Yeah, using so we can, the phone. You know, yeah. yeah, using mm-hmm. the phone. So so we have a separate video per person, but it was shot while we were talking to someone else, yeah. and then we edit it together. So basically, someone's on the phone. Um, you're exchanging lines. You put the phone beside you, but you're looking at the screen. But the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're pretending that you're talking to the person on the screen. Yeah. But it feels real. It feels it feels raw because you can still feel the emotions of the character. So it's easy to go back and forth. But yeah, that's the magic of being Sophia. <laughs> I think we resorted to that kind of thing because at first we tried recording through Zoom, but 
my internet wouldn't let me. <laughs> uh, our connection just kept going on and yeah, off. Yeah. So we had to resort to a different option, which really worked Editing for us. Editing was a nightmare. Editing was <laughs> oh, such yeah. a nightmare. Um, for, um, for artists out there who are cry- trying to create content, especially through Zoom, like anything in terms of audio is going to be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, ayun. <laughs> and that was the process, basically, how we shot it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's work. Like, you had to, uh, okay, don't forget to transfer your videos, so on and so forth. But quality is there. What matters is you can hear the, the actor and see their emotions, and boom. <laughs> and then editing we magic. Have, <laughs> we have to make everyone in the house quiet, because, like, you, know, you can hear <laughs> the background. I have to film that. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, Anton, you're muted. I think. Oh no, Anton, we couldn't hear you. Sorry. Next question. Sorry. Uh, we'll before the next question, we'll say hi to people watching. Ariel Magno. Hi, Ariel. Hi, hi. 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 Angel. <laughs> Kit also is watching. Kit, hi, Kit. Hi, Kit. Hello, Kit. Oh, Jessa. Hello. Yes, yes uh, flag. Yeah. and of course, Icarus, the other yeah. uh, connected. <laughs> now, when uh, episode one, two, and three uh, has been finished and published, no, uh, how's the reception so far of people watching it? What were the reaction and your reaction on how people perceive this uh, production? Uh, maybe Danny and CJ can talk about <laughs> how they're oh, okay. So we have we have a friend who we uh, like to watch. We we watch them watch the episode essentially, yeah. uh, and we they like live react to it. Uh, we love her a lot. She's actually one of the people who commented. She's Ari, uh, and she she says that she really likes the show. Uh, and I mean we're really flattered because you know we write it, we act in it. Uh, but overall, I think what what really impacts her is the uh, the authenticity that she sees um, in the in the acting in the characters in the way that they speak even in the um, in the in the dialogue that we write um, we always try to make it so that not only does it really get the emotional beat across but also um, we also try to phrase it in a way that, we ourselves would say like it has to be like some sort of natural speech we we're, yeah. we're, we don't really like yeah something it's, it's human like we don't see our room very yeah. up the top like i i don't wear makeup during the shoot nor i i only wear means and bambahai just to do a shoot but it, it i i what i love about this show it's it's just real it's raw it's like these conversations that both sophia and dale sophia and liam sophia and riley they they all all humans can communicate the same way it's never all a other than the fact because we're we're talking virtually but it's the right thing mm-hmm. it's very human and vulnerable and real. and what i liked about ari's reaction our friend um she didn't feel that the writing was written by four different people. She felt that um, it was just written by one person. And I think that's good because we we really like picked off from each other. It's like we know what um, our characters are supposed to say. And it's very collaborative, like the writing. Um, we would always ask each other like opinions or do you think that your character is going the right um, direction or... The wrong direction? Neither. Neither direction? Yeah, does, it, does it fit Maybe. the character? Yeah. Does yeah. it fit the character? Is, is this what Riley or Liam would say? Is mm-hmm. this is the is this the Do you see um, this happening? Like basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very um, frankly. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, the, Mary. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I feel like when we're doing brainstorming, it's like this meme of like, you know, there's a board and there's a bunch of papers, and we're just like <laughs> Yes. This is what happens. This is what should happen. So now, okay, scratch that. You know. <laughs> yeah. Essentially. For, uh, uh, me, I was surprised that um, 
Dale resonated with people, my character. I'm just like, because again, like the the target audience for this isn't necessarily people like me who are you know older, but uh, apparently the goofy older brother trope is uh, something that people like. So, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think uh, it's a comic relief in a sense, but at the same time, you wonder, ano ba sisikat ba si Dale in episode episode four? Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, maybe let's talk about episode four. Um, sure. What can people expect? Um, so I guess, guys, no, watching this, you have to binge watch one to three. I guess every all, all the episodes are still available, right? Um, yep. In uh, uh, in San Ticket. Ticket. Ticket, Ticket to me. Ticket to me. Ticket to me. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ticket to me. That. And uh, so, what do we expect on episode four? Ano ba? Magkakatuluyan ba dyan? Ano ba ang mangyari? A lot of drama. Uh, well, CJ! Oh, CJ, go! Okay, so, this is... No spoiler is, version. Uh, no spoiler. Not spoiler. Okay, yeah, um, of course. I'm going to assume you've watched episodes one through three. But, um, so, what I'm going to say is this. Uh, there's a lot of uh pain that has happened over the course of uh the last three episodes and this is the crux of all that pain these are the results of uh these are the essentially the consequences of all those actions and um all the all the characters are um coming to terms with all of them or with all of those consequences and figuring out how to take things from there there's a lot of drama, like, yes, so much drama. Like, drama. One episode word. four is a spicy drama. episode. <laughs> it's a very really spicy is. episode. There's this term that I remember CJ said during when we were brainstorming. What was it? Get good? Ah, yes. Um, some yeah, One good. of the characters needs to get good, or they will start to get good at the very end. They need to get their, you know, their mess together. <laughs> I can't swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like, also, if I may add, it's, you see these characters face forward, the worst case scenarios, the messy things they've had, which they've put aside for so, so, so so long, and then there's this person coming up, so, what do you think about this, what do you think about that, but um, I think what the audience would appreciate is the growth and how the the mindset of the characters are in the lowest points, one of the lowest points of their life, especially during this pandemic. So, yeah, one big heck of a drama. <laughs> Riley or Dale? Do you want to add? What do people expect oh. on episode four? Oh, well, for me, uh, well, Dale's character Hello? is going oh, to, oh yes, yeah, probably interact uh, the most. I mean, it's in the synopsis anyway. Uh, is going to interact with everyone else in the story, which is the first time for <laughs> Dale Bonics to do Sophia. that. <laughs> well. Yeah, for everyone except Sophia, um, and I, I so I don't have experience as a young as an older brother, uh, but I am a father, so my my mindset here is how do you provide support to someone you care about without just outright solving the problem for them, and I think that's always been very important for my character, uh, Dale understands that sometimes you know you have to go through bad stuff for you to grow sometimes you have to suffer sometimes you know things that you have to go through will hurt and there's not really anything that anyone else can do for you except support you they can't solve the problem for you so that's dale's mentality i think here um he wants to be the best brother he can be without you know, compromising his sister's agency, his sister's ability to act on her own. So it's a nice balance, I think, for the character. Um, he's not immune from from the pain, 
but he's also he also has some distance uh, from the story. So it's a nice, uh, in a way, a nice proxy for the audience as well to observe yeah. the story through Dale's eyes. Yeah. Um, if I may add, because uh, Justin added about pain, there's this quote that um, that reminded me of pain, and Timothy Chalamet says this. To have pain or to have uh, to have pain or to suffer is right, meaning that it is absolutely normal to go through pain, for it will strengthen you into becoming who you are. Yun lang, just the boy, the boy. <laughs> the boy. Wait, um, so there are people commenting. Uh, so Sophia said, "Let's go, Sophia." Yes, Sandra Sandra. Said, Hello. Hello. Hi, Sandra. I'm a big fan of you, Sandra. I love you. Uh, <laughs> Kipinson <laughs> said uh, all the hashtags and then talk about Joey. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> Joey, Joey is my soul. I love him. Her, okay. it, uh, actually, it's really Just ambiguous. Everybody, okay. Joey is. Wait, wait, I'll finish. Ah. Dale Arby's yeah. boy. Oh. And, uh, and then Kid said, Aton is right. People can binge watch King Sophie. Need. People need to binge need. this series. Oh, wait. So, see right right Joey. Uh, okay. so in, the, Joey. <laughs> in the mythology of the series, Joey is a friend of Sophia. Um, Do you want to talk like how we you know, started that? I guess. So, I mean, I, I don't, okay, I'll let you, I'll give you a peek behind the curtain. So when we started the series, it was only myself, Mary, and Danny working on this. Uh, CJ was working on a different project. In fact, I didn't know I could get CJ. But we needed another character because if um, if it's only the three of us and I can't talk to Riley, Dale can't talk to Riley because they have no interaction, then it gets very dry. The, the conversations will get very dry. And we also need a way to get into uh, Sophia's head, in a way. But we don't have another actor. So, we made Joey. Joey is a friend of Sophia, acts as a sounding board, but Joey only exists in chat. So... Yes. So a lot of the chat... Um, a lot of the chat scenes... Are usually Joey, unless they yeah. explicitly state otherwise. It's safe to assume that it's Joey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the the chats you can also see a peek of how Joey is, what he yeah. likes, yeah. Like, what he deletes in she, his mes- in their messages. He, Sorry, what they kind of they yeah. What kind so, of friend Joey is to Sophia? Yeah, we don't we don't want to um, define Joey. In that sense, um, we're a good friend of Sophia. We're, yeah, very good friend. We're not. We're avoiding pronouns in this case because yeah. ultimately it doesn't really matter yeah. whether yeah. Joey's a guy or a girl, especially for Sophia. Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hi. <laughs> It's nice, no. Um, I, I am really surprised like the show. that people like Joey. Yeah, I'm surprised that people like Joey. For like, Yo, I like Joey. I mean, theatrical device. I want to date Joey. I would date Joey. I would date Joey. I would be so, gay for Joey if Joey was a guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Um. Um. It's really nice. So. Um, just wondering, lang uh, during the uh, what do you guys do uh, throughout the pandemic? Maybe I know a lot of people wanted to know the real characters behind the, you know, the actors. Um, wh- what did you guys do throughout this pandemic? Maybe you can just share a few things. Um, besides, uh, I'll go first. Is is that okay? I mean, oh. you're already starting, so. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Go <laughs> ahead. Um, for me, I am currently a student, college student. Surprisingly, um, I took a break because life happened. Um, but I'm currently working for me, Sophia as a writer and as a 
as an actor. And hint, hint, Icarus Theater Collaborative is going to be having another production. So to those who are watching, stay tuned. <laughs> So uh, for myself, I've been working from home. I uh, work for a school system. Um, and I've been taking care of my kid who uh, went home because of the pandemic. Uh, mostly that's it. I've been also handling some of the more admin work for Icarus uh, as one of the core members, developing new products, new products, shows, uh, and ideas. Uh, but that's it. That's uh, between like baking and swimming and uh, know, <laughs> cleaning my bathroom and doing the laundry. I'm stuck here at home. Human so. stuff, right? Uh, okay. Uh, Daniel? Okay. Um, besides stressing out with my life, I've been, I'm currently. Uh, employed in a media company i also do a bit of marketing and editing for being sophia and besides doing those kind of work i <laughs> i binge watch a lot of like netflix series and i do write music which by the way i wrote some of the songs for being yeah sophia. she's yeah. the one who wrote the end credits uh, yes yeah. so uh i uh, I work as HR for um, a startup BPO. Uh, Justin does not like HR, uh, but you know somebody's gotta do it. You know. <laughs> uh, but you other than HR. work, <laughs> other than work, <laughs> like uh, I play a lot of video games. Um, whether it's Dota Two with my friends or uh, playing a bunch of music uh, or recently learning chess <laughs> and not being very good at it so <laughs> uh so mostly games games playing with friends eating fun stuff i guess that, that's mostly it that's mostly what i do cg also, CG also some of music. the yeah yeah, yeah i, I the did the guitar compositions for yeah. uh eps two three oh, four. wow yeah hmm. galinga so no, may question ako sa inyo. But uh, anin ko muna yung uh, mga ano ano mga comments. Uh, so ep- episode four, alam ko twenty seven pa. Ah, uh, it's uh, the link is there. The, the link is there. The link is there. Uh, the link is there. Uh, you, can... you can buy the tickets okay. uh, so that when it premieres, so... you can watch it right away. Yes. Yep. Hundred hundred pesos, no? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, and then um, Angel uh, Frad is saying, very wholesome, yet the show is not afraid to be real and face your emotions and fears. It's tough for being a gen Z. I have a follow-up question to that. No? And then Angel said, Lullaby by Danielle Del Rosario. That's the name of the song. Yeah. Yes, that's the end Lullaby. credit song. Okay, so I have a question for you. Because during this pandemic, okay, no, no, I really wanted to get your thoughts. There was a war between Gen Z and the millennials. The Gen Z said, oh, and tandana ng millennials and the millennials were lost throughout the pandemic. <laughs> Whereas the Gen Z came out like parang, wow, we're here, di ba? <laughs> Move out, millennials, we're here. Um, and, you know, TikTok and all this Gen Z thing. And you have being Sophia. Can you talk about this war between Gen Z and millennials and how the gen x wanted to be in a gen z shoes no like what dale is trying to do in the show which is very real no and as uh, so you just wanted to get your real opinion or your character's opinion i don't know <laughs> okay I well i can Justin start with that it's very appropriate yeah. to answer this because so i'm you, i'm 35 you know. yeah i'm 35 so i still technically fall under the millennial uh brand i also fit all the you know um, markers of being a millennial. I've had several jobs. I've uh, you know I don't have an air fryer yet, but I really want one. You know all of those like you made dalgona. Of, you, you bake bread. I made dalgona. Yeah, <laughs> I bake bread. Here's the thing though, and here's the thing that I think Gen Z needs to understand: you can't hate on us harder than we hate on ourselves. Like you have no idea how much we don't like ourselves. So, like, all of that, like, you know, negativity you're throwing our way, 
that's that's it's like water off a duck's back. It's just yeah. You think I you guess. can make fun of us? Really? Like, like we're we doing fun of you already make fun of myself. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, a 24-7 you know, job. Don't I? <laughs> and like my kids, my kid's 15. So she makes fun of me all the time about being an old fogey and all that. <laughs> uh, she, makes, <laughs> she makes fun of the fact that I, when I text, I use perfect grammar. Like I use punctuation <laughs> marks and all. And she makes fun of how I use emojis and how I use social media. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, I like I already make fun of myself all the time. It doesn't really like. Do you sometimes intentionally use exclamation marks when you're actually really like sweet or like very um, respectful? But like, are you mad? Have you ever had that kind of situation that you use exclamation marks and like people like, why are you mad? Yeah, I remember. I remember like having to redo certain messages because okay, that reads so aggressively. <laughs> But then you know, I don't know, like, so I've had to do that. Um, but yeah, like sometimes just to annoy my kid, I I, I say weird things. Like, just to annoy my it's, kid. Yeah. Sample, sample. It's, it's this. This is so lit. It's lit, right? It's lit, right? It's lit. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no. Or I use I, I add the word the before like some stuff so that hey. Is this the Facebook? Are you using the Twitter right now? Like, are you making some of that TikTok? Are you making the TikTok? Are you... But yeah, but that's that's a. It's funny to me that you know, uh, also working with kids because of my job as an educator, it's funny to me how like people keep playing up this like. Uh, conflict between gen z and millennials and i think most millennials are like yeah we're we're i can't curse we're we're not like i'm not gonna be like affected by this it. because what's the worst thing you can the worst thing you can say about me is already something i think about myself so like <laughs> yeah. honestly think... at this point i just don't really care yeah. <laughs> i think it's just funny like, I think it's just funny how they think they they know us more than we know ourselves. For example, my favorite thing about Gen Z humor is just that everybody gets memed on. Like, there's nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty it's sure Gen Z pure absurdity. Be memed by the younger like, generation. The next uh, like, generation yeah, the alpha, next. I think that's the name. Yeah. 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 So They're, everybody will just meme on each other. That's just the whole point. Like, my favorite thing about Gen Z memes are just that they don't make sense and everybody understands it somehow and right. i didn't know there was going to be a lot of call it's out so utterly it's confusing it's just it's, i love it it's it's my favorite thing nothing is sacred there and it's just and everything it's so gets me form of connection and bringing people together so yeah like yeah who makes a trends out of sea shanties you know <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah. Or or the uh, hair in the middle. What what's up with that, you know, in the side? Oh no. <laughs> Justin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that when I was growing up, I did have my hair parted down the middle. And then I had my so so it was parted down the middle. No. And then you would raise the side and then you would shave under it and then you basically have an undercut and that was cool and i don't remember why it was cool because the cool kids knew why it was cool i wasn't one of the cool kids growing up so like i had no idea <laughs> and i was in cat i was an officer in my third year of high school so i had a buzz cut anyway so that didn't really matter <laughs> I... but it was the 90s i wore bell bottoms and uh 90s, early 2000s, so... And boots with the fur? And, uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, we have to close this. So, yeah, but there are a lot of comments. And, uh, uh, so, yeah, Big Dale Energy. It's true, though. Millennial. <laughs> That's true. Big Dale Energy. And the angel said, Dale tried to dance to BTS. Wow. Yes. I heard so myself. Meron, 
There was a scene. There was supposed to be a scene. Uh, there was supposed to be a scene in episode two or three, I think. Three. That was three. three. Yeah, and I was supposed to. I wanted to seriously do the dynamite dance. Sabi <laughs> ng BTS, and that's like, and not treat it as like funny because Dale's failing at that, but funny because oh, there's this, so thirty something year old fat dude dancing BTS. <laughs> and he's dancing it well. Unfortunately, my knee gave out when I was trying it. So like even uh-huh. now I still can't like walk properly. Like I, I struggle with I'm taking stairs. So my left knee hasn't <laughs> fully recovered. So I tried. Okay. I did try. So I think that was episode two. That's what matters. Oh, yeah. sorry, was that episode? episode. Two? Okay. Uh it's mostly Gen Z versus the boom. The boom. And, and the, the Karen. Karen. It's true though. I agree Karen's on the, Karen. the number one enemy. Yeah. Karens are every and... generation, honestly. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Karen. <laughs> okay, um, it's really just uh, kind of surreal to talk to the characters of being <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you. Nice. Uh, I have, <laughs> yeah, we have Gen Z kids. Uh, at least for for us, um, think you know the Gen X would love the show actually. Because they would understand like uh, how their kids are, in a sense. <laughs> in a sense. And uh, I love the medium, how you guys did it. And uh, I really want to for more people to watch the show. Just to close, maybe some final thoughts and invite our uh, people watching this uh, to watch episode 4 and episode 5 next month. Uh, please, please watch episode 4. Actually, please watch episodes one to five because bingeable it's bingeable Super plus bingeable, you, actually. the the writing is really good and i'm not just saying that because we're the ones who wrote it but it really is it really it's raw it's natural it talks to you guys it it will talk to you guys as how it talks to us because it's based on our own experiences and we hope that it will help you be happy. <laughs> um, we really encourage everyone to watch uh, Being Sophia episodes 1 to 5. Episode 4 is coming out this Saturday, this Saturday. at 8 p.m. Yes. So 27. Mm-hmm. And then episode 5 is coming out uh, in March. Soon. Soon. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it's a new way of creating art online, uh, particularly during these times where social distancing is not only uh, required, but it's also the right thing to do. You know, we, mm-hmm. as much as we want to actually see each other and hang out, because I've never been with Mary or Danny in person. I met them during the pandemic and we've never seen each other in person. Um, yeah. So this is a new way of creating art in this uh, uh, environment, in this current time that we have and we we always in Icarus we always try to push the form forward to see how it can grow and this is our latest attempt at it can I add sure yes so please follow us at Icarus Theater Collaborative on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram I am forgetting all our socials we are also on YouTube so we have projects that are called uh, podcast theater where we create art and plays. Mm. Oh, we're on Spotify and also we on have Spotify. a website. Yes, yes. Do go ahead and check us out. So, if you can, you may also directly support us through donations to give a little bit to our members. Despite no business, we keep our collaborators compensated even just a little bit. Send an email to ikarustheater at gmail.com with your transaction record so we can thank you personally. Again, right. let's not forget to support the arts, especially support local theater. Thank Yay. you very much. So, um, as a final bit, um, we really highly encourage you guys to watch Being Sophia. This is a product of our, a lot of, we poured a lot of our heart into it, uh, a lot of ourselves into it, honestly. Um, it's uh, it's a very interesting take on relationships and um and friendships in the time of the pandemic. Uh, I myself have learned a lot and 
uh, from all these people that I've collaborated with who gave me the chance to mess with them a lot in episode four. <laughs> so, and will yeah. give me the chance to do so again in episode five. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we're very excited. We're all very excited to see, uh, to, to show you guys what we've, what we've made for you. All right. Thank you so much, right, guys. Thank you. Uh, watching the replay. Thank you so much. Being Sophia, now on episode four. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My question I, I like the uh, ending. I have a like the music. No, I have a. <laughs> no, go, 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 go. Yes. Get out of the fourth wall. Um, I mean, have you thought about like Justin as being an influencer, but you know, like a true influencer using his character or you know. You can uh, talk to Joey, and Joey would and um, yeah, you know what I mean. You know, right, you yeah, guys yeah, have yeah, this to, uh, talk to the people as their characters. Can on. Well, I think uh, one of the things that I did uh, to prepare for my character was really to um, get comfortable streaming. Uh, so for like a couple of weekends, I'd go on Facebook Live and just not expect anyone <laughs> to join. Sometimes I have like four or five people watching me drink, and then I play music, <laughs> and then people would uh, ask me questions. And not, people... None of these people actually went and watched my, you know, FB live, but like, <laughs> we're, we're are you playing playing enough every other day? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, uh, sure, I guess. Like, I don't really, I, I still don't understand table. why. No... Yeah. It's not off the table. I don't understand though why people like Dale, honestly. Like um, I like you, Dale. Yeah. I like Dale. So oh, don't even on yourselves too hard. Dale's, Dale's just goofy. One of my friends told me, Oh, I like Dale. I was like, really? Why? Because he relates to me wanting to create a YouTube channel, but I don't mm. have the guts to. But he has the guts, so I envy him. So <laughs> Actually, like CJ and I have long been talking about uh, making a bunch of things. We actually have we've okay. talked about like having a jar. Na parang oh, okay. tuwing meron tayong ipopropose na podcast topic, pag hindi natin na follow through, maglalagay tayo ng pera sa jar. It's like a jar, like parang okay, we're gonna mention about like a podcast so, or a series, oh. but the jar. So Dead never ever gonna be uh, so We're just so many things. We have so many things already talked about, but well, uh, another nice thing kasi that I have when I work collaboratively is uh, I have a lot of projects that are in limbo. I have a lot of scripts that okay. are in limbo. And the only time, I think I finished one script by myself, but all the other times that I was able to finish a script, they were for collaborative works. So this isn't my first uh, collaboration. CJ and I have collaborated on four other projects prior to this. How about? I think this is the fourth. Oh, this is the fourth. Wait, so the three other projects. Alter. Alter. Yeah. Yeah. So and this is the fourth. This is how I am forced to complete something because there's a certain sense of shame and fear of disappointing people if I'm not able to complete a project. <laughs> it's collaborative. <laughs> All, All right. right. Uh, Thank you, guys. Think, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I. It's really, it's really good. Uh, but uh, we need to cut it because. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shorter. But um, uh, ang galeng, galeng. Uh, I really love the show. You know, being an influencer, I could relate to all the. Uh, I mean, being a creator more than an influencer, you can relate to all the struggles. No. Uh, at yeah. the same time, the Gen Z. You know, we have four kids and um, wow. yeah. four boys. Na, wow. um, they are all Gen Zs, actually. And uh, I can, the of course, school? they're going. The pandemic, like online, are they going through school? Yeah, online. Yeah, all of them are online. So we have a school, online school here <laughs> during all these things. And uh, 
Kaya nga, ano eh, uh, I think you, you nail it. Um, it. It's a good piece, a collaborative work, like a, a piece of what happened during the pandemic. And uh, it's really nice. Uh, Manila setting, di ba? And ano ba yung mga parang hinanakit ng mga tao or, you know, the love. Tinatanong ko nga mga anak ko eh, so paano kayo magka-love, ano, during the pandemic, yung mga Gen Z, naka-discord lang kayo, uh-huh. naka-online lang uh-huh. kayo. Ano, paano, 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 paano ang ligawan, di ba? Parang, Ay, I don't know. Being, being para... Sophia is an example. Oh yeah, uh-huh. being Sophia is an example. <laughs> Definitely. Online landian. Online landian. Online, online landian. <laughs> Oh, online and the and then one of my These sons so like love anime. So, I, so sabi ko ba may anime girlfriend ka na ba? O, I, I don't know. I mean the Gen Z guys oh, are <laughs> the Gen Z guys. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, sir Anton, if I may ask, sorry. How how old um, are they? Um, my eldest is sixteen. Uh, and then 13, 11, and then 7. So, all boys. So, lahat sila naka, all boys, lahat naka Discord, lahat nagi games, lahat yeah. may kausap. <laughs> <na> DJ! <laughs> Kung lalaki ba o babae yung kausap nila, di ba? So, <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you so much, Anton. I, thank, my you. thank you for Anton. having us. Yeah. Thank you're, you for you're, having us. You're, not, you're not able to travel anymore, diba? Because that like you oh, we're traveling now. Yeah, so far. You are? So we're ooh. Yes. We just came from Koron in sunlight. Maybe you guys should oh, nice. <laughs> you know, guys, cast outing. Uh, Amen. Oh, yeah. Cast episode outing. 6 na lang yun, ganun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you for thank your you. time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you okay. for thank your you. Um, work. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>